Hey guys, this is Mr. Pogsamore and today I'm gonna teach you how to make the glass bridge in Minecraft Pocket Edition or Bedrock Edition. So let's get started! So as you can see, we have here the glass bridge. This is the fifth game in the popular Netflix series, The Squid Game. So let's now go to survival mode to find out if this is really working. So as you can see, we have two glasses right here. And if you want to go to the middle, if you want to go to the middle, all, all the way to the middle, as you can see, there's a barrier. So there's no way for you to cheat this game. If you want uh, to go to this rail on the right side as well, as you can see, there's a barrier. You just can't go all the way to the finish line as well as here to the left side. So you just need to go either the left glass or the right glass. So we need to choose one. One of these glasses will break when you step on it and the other one will not. And you're going to be safe like uh, this one. So if you will jump here, it's going to be safe. But let's go back. Let's try this one. If you will go here. And as you can see, oh my goodness, you will fall to your death. Oh my goodness, there's a creeper. So for us to get rid of the creepers, uh, let's do this. It's going to be game rule and then it must be do mod spawning. Set it to false just like that. And then we can do the kill at E three times. Okay, so let's go back here. So uh, let's say we are safe right here. If we will go all the way here and oh my goodness, we are not yet dead because we are in creative mode. Now let's go to the tutorial. So we will need the following items. The first one is block of iron, then lightning rod and rod, glass, redstone comparator, and of course the grass block. First, all we have to do is to stack up uh, 30 blocks of iron. There we go. And then uh, we're going to put here uh, two more on either sides, just like that. And then we will use a lightning rod and then end rod alternating. And then also we can uh, put uh, the blocks of glass right here so in the actual game there are actually 16 glasses on either sides all right there we go so we have now 32 glasses so all we have to do is to put here uh, five more blocks of iron just like this and then uh, all the way down as well so let's break it so we're going to stack up uh, more iron blocks right here until we reach all the way up right here there we go next we need to put more lightning rods and end rods alternately Alright, there we go. So you will end up with something like this. Next, we need to use the barrier block. So for us to get it, let's type here slash give at P. It must be barrier just like that. And then what we're going to do is to put barrier blocks on top of uh, each end rod right here. So just do it so that uh, the players of this game will not cheat. There we go and then we need to go down all the way right here. So the first block must be here and then uh, here. So let's mark it just like this. These holes right here are where the blocks are located. Uh, the glass blocks are located all the way up. So what you're going to do right now is to get uh, the command block. So for us to get it, let's type here slash give at p command underscore block. So we're going to put one here. And then we're going to decide which glass is actually breakable. So uh, let's try this one. So if this one is breakable, then we need to put a command block right here. So first all we have to do is to get the coordinates of this. So you need to stand on the glass. 
And as you can see, the coordinates are uh, 380, 34, and then negative 57. Take note of those coordinates. And then let's go all the way down here. And then on the command block, we're, what we're going to type is test for at P. It must be at P and then bracket. It must be x equals uh, the first coordinate so 380 comma and then y equals the second coordinate which is 34 and then comma the third coordinate so it must be z equals negative 57 just like that and then r must be equal to 0 0.5 and then bracket once again make sure the block type is repeat and then redstone always active so let's go here let's see what will happen so uh, let's try to step on it if we're going to step on it oh my goodness so there we go so if we will try to step on it there we go so as you can see it can detect me found uh, mr pogs 2017 so what we're going to do uh, it's working right now what we're going to do is to put here a uh, red comparator uh, facing that way and then another command block right here so next uh, we're going to use field right here and then uh, the coordinates so mine is negative 380 34 and then uh, negative 57 just like that it should not be fill it must be a uh, set block there we go so it must be set block check the spelling and then we're going to set it to air there we go so let's try it so if we're going to step on this glass right here let's see what will happen Oh, there we go. It did not break the glass. It's because we need to change the Y coordinate right here. Minus 1. It should be minus 1. Instead of 34, it must be 33 just like that. So, let's try it once again. So, if we will step on this glass, let's see what will happen. There we go. It will be broken and you will fall to your death. And that is so awesome. So, let's now put uh, the glass back once again just like this there we go and then uh, let's go all the way here so if we're going to decide which one is a breakable glass uh, let's say this one so what we're going to do is to do the same thing we just need to repeat and then we're going to do the same thing with the other glasses as well so there you have it guys that's how to make the glass bridge from the Squid Game in Minecraft Pocket Edition or Better Editions. Thank you so much for watching. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.